Here we are at 1133. We are declaring Governor Kathy Hochul, the Democrat, the winner in this race, defeating her incumbent Lee Zeldin. And as we understand it, Governor Hochul is speaking to the crowd there in Manhattan's Capitol in Chinatown. We're going to listen in right now. People have been through so much, and that's my family. First of all, New York's first elected first gentleman of the state, my husband Bill Hochul. His love for 38 years has lifted me up, and I'm so grateful to him and our children, Will and Katie, and their spouses, Christine and Matt. They've endured years and years of my absences with understanding and love. To my father and my late mother, who inspired me to go on a path of public service. And to my siblings, my five siblings, and particularly my only sister, Sheila, who had a special way. <laughs> Sheila has that special way of keeping me humble. I want to thank all of them, but tonight I want to speak directly to New Yorkers. Tonight, you made your voices heard loud and clear. And, and you made me the first woman ever elected to be the governor of the state of New York. But I'm not here to make history. I'm here to make a difference. And because of all of you, we'll keep making progress, breaking down barriers, breaking glass ceilings, helping New Yorkers achieve the greatness that it is capable of. And I will lead with strength and compassion not with fear and anger. And together, we'll put our values to work to lift up all and leave no one behind. And we'll build a state where families can afford to raise their children. We'll create good paying jobs from Long Island to the city, the Hudson Valley, the North Country, all the way to Buffalo and the Southern Tier. We'll do all that, creating good paying jobs, but also give everyone what they deserve, safe, affordable housing, because that's one of their rights. And to make sure that all of our kids will succeed in school and achieve their full potential and live in communities without fear, to have the safety to walk their streets and take our subways without illegal guns on our streets. And this will become a place, this is a place where fundamental rights are protected and women can make their own decisions about their bodies. Because this is New York. New Yorkers, I will never take for granted the trust you placed in me. And I'll tell you this, the road here from Buffalo was not always easy. Let's hear from Buffalo. My parents started out married life in a trailer park, but they rose up through hard work and education and lift themselves out of their circumstances. And they raised me in a strong social justice Catholic family where I was taught to fight for others. And it sparked my passion for public service. And that's why as a young mom, I ran for office, eventually being elected to every single level there is local, county, state, federal, and now I've had the honor of a lifetime becoming the first woman to lead this state. And I have felt, thank you, I have felt the weight, I have felt the weight on my shoulders to make sure that every little girl and all the women of the state who've had to bang up against glass ceilings everywhere they turn to know that a woman could be elected in her own right and successfully govern a state as rough and tumble as New York. And yes, the glass ceiling, like the one that's above us here today, has finally been shattered in the state of New York, and you made it happen. In closing, I know it's been a long night, 
I feel the energy, I feel the love, but I know you all want to go out and celebrate as well. We'll get there, but it's in closing. <laughs> the lessons of tonight's victory are that given the choice, New Yorkers refuse to go backwards on our long march toward progress. And we embrace the torch that's been passed to us from all those who fought the good fight years before we came here. And in so doing, we commit that we'll make that torch glow even brighter before we pass it on to the next generation. We've achieved so much in just one year. Now I ask all of New Yorkers to join me as we act with boldness and urgency and accomplish even more for the next four years. And I, I believe with every fiber in my body that our best days do lie ahead, that will capture the essence of New York exceptionalism and continue to work hard to better the lives of all. Tonight, you put your faith in me, and I will never let you down, never let you down, New York. Thank you for your love and your support. Together, we're moving upward, onward and upward. And may God bless all of you, the great state of New York and the United States of America. Thank you, New York. I love you. All right, there you have it. A truly historic night. New Yorkers have elected the first female governor for the state, Governor Kathy Hochul. She was thanking her family, thanking the voters. She mentioned that the voices were heard loud and clear. Meanwhile, we are continuing to await the conclusion of the other headliner of our race in our area. That's the 25th Congressional District. We have a crew, our newsroom, working on that right now. When we get those numbers from Monroe County, we will update you at rochesterfirst.com and News 8 at Sunrise. And we'll continue to ask the Board of Elections what happened tonight. I want to thank you at this point for trusting us to be your local election headquarters. Have a good night.